pits are out. It's a 50 lap main event for the very first time here at Colorado National Speedway. The big three eights will roar with figure eight action. It'll be Chris Curtis and Craig Vanderwettering bringing the field to green. Clean turns number one and uh, you want to say it two <laughs> two there we go and it's Vander Wettering out to the early lead Kurt a second Deets third so Wisconsin and a pair of Washington drivers and Van Wettering has the 23 Van Meter to thank for rolling a six so the 23 deeper in the field with Tunney Look They're at Tony with that inside move. Planned that into turn number three. And these two are going to go door to door. We got some action over in turn number one and two. Four car pack. And they're going to be senior leader. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I think these two know that they may be the two to beat here tonight. Look at Van Meter locking up the right front. You can see where that car flexes, picks up that wheel enough, and Austin Tunney makes a spot. And we have a cone stuck underneath the 13. Now, why did he steal that? He might need it for later. Frank Gassano. There you see. Secret weapon. Now at a track that could be hard to pass, how will lap traffic play? Dietz getting pressure from Tunney from behind. That's a battle for third. Yes. Tunney's gonna look low, but there's Eric Hodgkins in the 97 lap down. Right there in tow, oh. look at them all stacking up. And another cone goes down. That one courtesy of Van Meter. Well, I think we just figured out, and you answered your own question, what lap traffic will do with the battle. Yeah, you talk about this. Look at your leader right now, Van Wettering, with nowhere to go. Curtis right there. Using him as a shovel. Stuck behind this oh, driver. Oh, Van Meter's oh. going to take the dirt line. We are and running out of room. Season. Deeds get shoved out of there. Caution. Yellow flag. I wouldn't be surprised if that's them trying to get their cones back. It might be. We have a lot of cones that have uh, been laid to rest. That one looks even more devastated. And here comes the flag man. Well, maybe Colorado National just found out that these outlaw drivers will use every bit of pavement, regardless if they're the cone, to be run over. And that cone is done. Yeah, well, what about, look at this. They made this guy sprint. And everyone's cheering. Yeah! <laughs> Getting ready for the Olympics. Is that James Conley there? Yeah, I think he wants to enter the race. Uh, on his feet. Yeah, that was. There he is in the red 676. And a big old bump. <laughs> Hand meter. He From said, move. <laughs> All right. So, red flag in the air. We got a red flag. Yeah. I think it's because of the cone man. <laughs> He's out here to say, don't hit my cones ever again. 40 laps to go. All right. What kind of quick moves might we see now, now that these drivers might be getting that hint that it's going to be a hard one to pass on tonight? Well, Deeds goes right into second spot. Van Meter's going to go right into third. Chris Curtis, I assume right now in that 74, is on the tire-saving strategy. He might say, I'll let you drivers go. I'll catch up to you later. And that would not be unusual to see from Curtis. Oh, we got one around. That's a 97 machine. 
of Gustineau. Which one is it? I will let you know right now. That's Adam Gustineau. And we do have an intersection shot that's ready at all times. Now this is kind of a precarious spot for the 97. Yeah. We see him to the right of the screen. Eric Hodgkins stalled out it seems. And there we see the yellow. Yep. The field, the RPMs rise and the green flag will fly. 34 laps to go. Deeds trying to hold Van Meter. He's got the inside line right here. That is preferred per se in contact. Well, remember who hit Deeds earlier. <laughs> You're right. Van Meter closing in on your leader. Craig Vander Wettering. Bottom out the 23. Scrapes the frame. Out of turn number two. And if you're Vander Wettering right now, you just keep your elbows wide in that 49. As girthy as possible. Now we really haven't had enough of a green flag run to see the intersection play out more than just with a few slower cars. That's Wall in the 15, Jeremy Wall. And he's dueling it out with Brandon White's 12 and the 3D of the Bull, Steve Durham. Back and up all front. the rear bumper is Van Meter for the lead. And you see Dietz and Tunney going after it. Two great battles to watch on frame. And it's like each battle is separated by their own two-car pack. Quick. 28 laps to go. And Lap Van Meter there to the inside. Oh, more door slam. Contact, Vander Wettering holds on. What kept a the fight. Tight. Yeah, kept Van Meter on the apron. Had no choice but to take the dirt line, pretty much. Now, I don't know if Van Meter's going <laughs> to be as nice the next time. So Van Wettery make sure there isn't a next time. And a lot of smoke coming out of the 15 machine. This could bring out a yellow. And we should be halfway this time by when they cross the line. Yellow. Oh, front. Van Meter. Van Meter. <laughs> gosh, it, gosh, it flags out. But Van Meter just said F you. <laughs> to those cones. <laughs> I mean, these things were set up as a don't go down here and only one of them made it out. Down here, and Van Meter said, cones ain't gonna stop me. Dirt might, but cones aren't gonna stop me. Watch this move. He's gonna swing it, just crank it to the right. He says, here I come, and these cones are like, oh my God. Bum, bum, bum. Record bum, scratch. Bum, bum. You might wonder how I got into this. Them Duke boys don't take out the cones again. Well, you know, I got to give him props. He didn't mean to hit the outside cone, but he had no choice for the <laughs> well, to hit the cone in between. Oh. <laughs> now, where's that cone? It's uh somewhere. I think Van Meter's taking it home as a souvenir. Yes, I'm loving this racing. It's cool to see this tide of a, of a battle going on here. But that's just the race fan to me. I'm like, oh, man, I'm already ready for more, and we're not even done with this one. I am right there with you as we go back to green. 22 laps to go. Chris Curtis under pressure from the 49 of Cox. Tunney and Dietz duking it out for third, but we still have a battle for the lead. Curtis just slammed the 49. And Curtis is gonna be the loser in that one. Battle for third, Tunney to the outside. Dietz down low. Black and yellow, seven is Tunney. He's got the preferred lane into turn number two. Oh, we got a big stack up over here behind Gustin. Three wide into turn number three and four, and that's gonna hold up Steve Durham. Curtis is gonna look to the outside. They're gonna split. And so far, everybody's still Able oh, to avoid. Curtis and Durham connect. There's Tunney, third. Oh, Van Wettering! 
gets the 72 of Clint Keenan, tags him in the intersection, and we go red. A tough ending to Craig Vanderwettering was leading all the way until this moment. And you can see Clint Keenan in the 72 tried to give your leader room. Vander Wettering as much as he could, even pitched it sideways. But there was no opening. And you can see the bumper to bumper contact. Taking a look at this angle, the dedicated shot. And you can see how long it takes, but still how quickly it can happen. And it, it's just that constant reminder that no matter where you are in position, you're not safe in a figure eight race. And it looks like Vander Wettering saw the opening to split between the 97 of Hodgkins and the 72. But he realized, he realized you can see where he jumps on the brakes. He's like, this isn't going to work. As the field's bunched up, we're getting ready to go. Restart with 14 laps remaining. That was a good restart for Tunney. And has he been saving his tires? We haven't really seen the seven making a lot of moves. Or is Van Meter just that much better? I got to give a shout out to the local driver, Chris Cox. 49 machine running in the fourth spot. Let's keep the cars underneath them. This 13 is just getting eaten alive right now. Oh! Ooh. You mean like that? Yes. Oh, and the 98's off the track. I don't even know. These two are going <laughs> to. We have a dirt race. We had a drift exhibition a little bit earlier, and I think these two want in. Oh, a lot of sparks coming out of the 676 machine. Third place runner. Do they have a tire down? Or that suspension. The car is falling out from underneath him, but he's got no time to waste. Here comes Cox, looking to the inside. Final two corners, no challenge, no pressure from Austin Tunney. And your inaugural rumble in the Rockies, Colorado National Speedway winner goes to Eddie Van Meter. Second spot, Austin Tunney. Third spot, Will be D. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's how you finish it across the line. Cox and Durham, your top five. Well, mark it in the history books. Colorado National Speedway has an outlaw figure eight race under its belt. And tonight, it was taken by Eddie Van Meter. Thank you very much, Spencer. This gentleman's gonna be very happy. Race fans, he's out of the car. Let's give him a round of applause. Eddie Van Meter!